we're going to look at implementing React Context from scratch. And we're going to do that in this simple application that is just very simple to let us see how we can interact the use context that comes from React hooks and push it into our components throughout. And so here what we're going to do is we're going to have this application that kind of mimics login. And so you can see I'm logged out right now. It says welcome guest. And if I put in a name here and I log in, you can see the nav bar changes to show who I am with a logout link. Our, our main view changes to show us our user kind of status. And if we click logout, it resets us. So let's take a look at the code and we'll, I'll be back in a second. Awesome. So as you can see, I've changed the application so it's no longer wired up to use context. The placeholder is placed in place. We have our logout link that doesn't do anything anymore. We have our input that is still wired, but when we click the login button, we don't get anything. So the first thing we need to do is create our context. So we're going to hop over into the app.js. And just to let you see kind of where we're going to place this, this is our entry point to the entire Create React app. And you can see I've pulled in this navbar and auth component, but we don't have any context here. So what we're going to do is hop over into our user context JS file that I've created. And we're going to import our create context and our use context from React. And the first thing we're going to do is export a new context. And so we're going to call this user session context. And this is equal to create context. And this is going to take in a default value. And it can be anything, but right now we're going to make it an object. And we're going to assign a null user, a login function that won't do anything, and a log out function that won't do anything. And this is all we need to do to actually create a context inside of React. And so what we'll do is hop back over into our app.js and we're going to import that. So we'll say import our user session context from our user context file. And then inside of this component, we're going to use that. So we'll say user session context. And we're going to call dot provider here. And this is going to expect a value. And right now we're going to make it an empty object, but we're going to fill that in in a second. So let's pull these up and format this. Boom. And if we look back at our application, you can see nothing changed. Uh, everything is still broken, but we didn't break anything, and that's important. And so what we want to do is we want to start with just implementing these one by one, and we're going to start with our user here. And so what we'll do is I'm going to create, I'm going to import use state here. And I'm going to create a new state object for our user. And we'll call this set user. And it's use state. And we're going to call this a guest user. And so we'll define that up here. So we'll have a guest user. And what we're going to do is we're going to assign a, a, a magic flag called guest. And we're going to also set a display name of guest. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass this user into this object that we're creating for our context. And what we're going to do is we're going to wire up so that we can actually show our user's display name up here at the top. And so what we'll do is one more thing, and this is important. We need to have it where we can reference our context, and we want to do it in the same way that kind of matches the use the hooks inside of React with a use context. And so we'll come back over to our user context, and we're going to export a function called use user session. And what we're going to do is we're going to re we're going to access this user, the log in and the log out. And this is going to be equal to use context, and we're going to pass in that user session context variable. And then we're just going to return our user, our log in and our log out. And I'm doing it this way so that as you build your application, you're going to have more that you're going to put into this context. And it may eventually be named app context. And so by having it done this way, instead of returning everything, this user session is going to only have the user session related pieces of the context. But with this done, and now that you can see, we have this use context, it pulls out the user, 
and that user is going to match the user that we have inside of our app component where we've registered this context. So if we hop over into our nav bar here, what we can do is we're going to replace this with a use user session and we're going to change this to actually be the user. And so if we look, we see welcome guests now. And if I do something here, it doesn't change, but we at least have this wired up. And so the next thing we want to do is wire up that login form. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our app.js where we are going to have a new function called login. And it's going to take a name. What we're going to do is call set user and we're going to pass in guest as false and the display name is the name. And this name comes from our name that we're passing into this function. And then we're going to register this login function with our context, so login. And now what we have is this context has the user and the login. And just like we went in our nav bar and referenced the user from user session, we can hop over into this auth component where we have this login form and we're going to reference our login function from our use, oh, I'm sorry, use user session. And so now on submit, what we can do is we can call login and we can pass in that name and this name variable is bound to this input. And so when we do this now and I pipe in like Alice and I hit login, you can see that the nav bar immediately changed to show our Alice. And the next thing we want to do is we want to wire this logout link. And so what we can do is hop into our app.js where we have our user context. And what we're going to do is register a new function called logout. And we're going to set the user back to the guest user object. And we're going to re register this logout with our context here. So we can call logout. And now inside of our nav bar, we're going to, where we have our logout button, we're going to reference that logout function and what we're going to do is call logout. And so when we click this logout link, it's going to call this logout function, which is a pointer back to this that resets our user. So when I type in Leo here and I click logout, you can see it takes us back to logged out. And the last thing we're going to do is we want to register all of these pieces into this auth component. So we'll hop into the auth.js and what we'll do is we'll come down to here and we're going to register our user equal to our use user session. And now you can see when I type in a name, so like Leo Marvin, you can see that we get our text to show that, hello, you're logged in. But if I click the logout button, it doesn't work. And so we need to do the same thing we did up here where we register our logout function. And when we click this button, we're going to call the logout function. And so now if we do this again and we click logout, you can see that the whole thing is wired so that we, we get our data where we can show that we're logged in and we can log out from anywhere and we have access to the context in any component. So I want to thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.